If you find it hard to say no, I want you to listen. Welcome to my world. So are you a people pleaser or someone who finds it really hard to say no? Yeah, I was there too. <laughs> can totally relate. And sometimes I still find myself in those situations where I'm like doing something. And it's like, I have my own things to do. Why did I say yes? I would do this. How did I, why, why did I do that? All that to do is say no, but it can be so scary because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I don't want, ah, no, I'm not a no person. I'm a yes person. I like saying yes, but I get myself spread too thin. And then what happens is you miss out on other things, right? So I was talking to a friend last week and he was just like, I can't say no to people. I just, I want to make everyone happy. I want to help people. I want to serve. I want to, I want to help people. And I was like, yeah, but it gets you in this spot where your cup is empty because you've given and 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 and nothing's coming back to return. There's no self care. There's no time for yourself. There's no doing the things that you like to do. And so I told him, I said, well, let's stop for a second. Let me tell you about when I was in the salon. I said yes to everyone. I wanted to get everybody in. I wanted to get them in. And so I would come in early. I was already working 10 hour days. So I would come in early. I would stay late. I would come in at Saturday, sometimes at like 5 a.m. and stay all day just to get people in because I didn't want to tell them no. I didn't want to tell them, sorry, I can't. I'm full. So I sacrificed sleep, time with my family, dinners with my husband. Um, to serve and to say yes to these people and what I quickly realized is and this is for those of you that have a hard time saying no listen if you have a hard time saying no and you're finding yourself spread thin and burnt out and exhausted this is for you if you find it hard to say no I want you to listen every time every time you say yes to someone else into some other project, into something else over here. Every time you say yes, you are saying no to other things. Every time, every time you say yes, you are saying no to something else. And oftentimes we're saying no to ourselves, we're saying no to our family, we're saying no to the things and the people that matter the most. Okay, it's still hard to say no. Like, okay, Liz, I get your point. Every time I say yes, say no to something else, and it's usually the self-care. It's the things that fill us up and make us happy and keep us excited. So my friend Lance Courtney taught me what he calls the diplomatic decline, and I practiced it and practiced it. I'd look in the mirror and I'd say it. Um, I would, someone would ask me a question, and I I got that, I didn't want to say yes, and I'd pause, And I would tell them, let me think about it for a moment. And I would say, because I wasn't in, it was not um, a natural response. Your natural response is yes. Like, okay, I'll do it. And then you're like, oh shit, how do I get into this place? And so Lance Courtney taught me, under normal circumstances, I would love to. However, I don't have any time. Under normal circumstances, I'd love to. However, I'm taking my daughter for ice cream. Under normal circumstances, I would love to. However, I have a nap scheduled for that time. So, whatever it is, under normal circumstances, I would love to. However, and start saying no. Start saying no. So you can start saying yes to the things that matter the most. Okay? It's still gonna be hard, it's gonna be uncomfortable. But I promise, if you have a friend who has a hard time saying no also, Or find a coworker or somebody's like, oh, how do we get into these situations? Say, oh my gosh, Liz taught me this thing from her friend Lance. And it goes, under normal circumstances, I'd love to. However, so you ask a question that she would normally say yes to and just role play and practice. And it will become so much easier. And then what happens is you you will feel so much of that joy inside that say, it's like... Saying no is not really a scary thing. Saying no is actually respectable because it shows that you have boundaries and that you have, you know, you're, 
shows, I don't want to say strength, but it, it's respectable because it does show that you have set boundaries in your life and people are going to look at you and say, wow, you know, she or he can accomplish all these things in their personal life and professionally and then she's, she or he still makes time to go golfing or to go do, get a pedicure or she always is smiling because of the self-care because I said no to something to allow time for me time for me and that is not a selfish thing because if you don't put yourself first how can you put anyone else second and third right if you put yourself second or third how in the heck are you supposed to take care of who you think's at number two and number one spot you got to be number one so then you can have someone at number two and number three and whatever I mean not that we're ranking people but does that make sense you're number one you got to take care of yourself Put your oxygen mask on first, so then you can help the other people, folks. You picking up what I'm throwing down? Okay. I love you guys. Practice saying no. So you can say yes to the things and the people that mean the most to you in this life. You get one. You get one life. So let's do it. Bye, y'all. I'm Liz Medley, and I believe in you.